All right, everybody, it is that time. Uh, we are going to put together Volcanicus. But before we do, um, I don't know if you remember, but uh, I never actually went through the alternate arm and leg configurations for these guys because I thought, well, you know, I'll do it all in one video. And as I got going, I realized it was going to take way too long. So first things first, we'll get through that. Uh, we're going to start with a swoop here. And I think uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through leg modes for both of them because uh, uh, I'm going to use them as arms. I'm going to follow the directions and use them as arms. So to get this guy into his leg mode, all you need to do is flip this around to there, unpig his legs from the back of his body. You can take his his whole head here and move that down to there. And then you separate them and inside here there's a double hinge. And I haven't done this too much on him so they're going to be tight. There we go. Got it. So we're going to pull that out and flip it up so that it gets in there like that. All right. We're going to do the same on this side. So you pull his foot down and then you get that leg untabbed from there and you get it going up to there and you get it so that it can peg in to the leg where it was just like that. So see where we got and then with this go like this bring that around and there's actually a tab on his arm right there which goes into that spot you do the same thing over here oh forgot I need to bring it down tab that in tab it in tab it in and there you go there is his leg mode oh almost forgot got to flip this up there you go. And then you put the foot on the bottom, right in there. And there you got a leg. Super easy, right? Right. So, all right. Let's get him into his arm configuration because that is technically how we're going to put him on there going by the directions. So, undo what you just did. Fold that out. Let's get that up. And then we'll take his legs. We'll untab them from each other. And then we'll try to maneuver them back out and straighten them up like so. See, they, they come apart like that a lot easier than they, you know, the little hinges move out. So there's that. And then we need to take this out and turn the arms. And there is a tab there which goes into the side there. And then twist and push and tab that in, tab it in. There we go. Now it's tabbed in. Make sure those are both tabbed in there. And then we can go like that. And then with the wings, you can do the same thing if you wish. And this, they, they I don't know, with the head, they kind of say just kind of stick it like that and put his tab like that. Then you can twist at the waist and you can take a feast and open that up, put that like that, pull out the tab and that goes right into there like so. Now this does not like to stay up and I believe that is exactly how it goes and we're just going to leave it like that. So that's how you do swoop. All right, next up, I got slug. Slug in leg mode, it's pretty easy. Take his foot, or his foot. Well, let's work on his feet. Take his feet, go like that. Take his tail, go like that. Take his head, go like that. Take this, flip that up. And then you can take, swing the legs around. And there is the tab there and the spot that they go right there. And same on the other side. And that goes like that. And then you can take and put his foot right here. Yeah, I got them both right there. So I'm not too worried about dropping that one. And 
that is his leg configuration. Super easy. They're all super easy leg configurations. So now we gotta get him into his arm. So pull that out and we'll take that and we'll put it like that. We'll leave this head right how it is. We will take and separate the tail and then we will take and well let's get this up and out of the way and up and out of the way and untab it from there pull that all the way out and then we can take his tail and swing it back around tab it back together yeah tab it back together there we go and then we're actually going to put him on this side so we turn his waist like that take out a hand and plug that right into there and uh there we go there is his arm configuration super easy correct yes yeah, super easy well let's move these up a little bit i think i like those up a little bit more like so and there we are and as you can see we've already got the other dinobots out so we're going to take sludge we're going to take his foot and we'll put his foot on right there and we're going to take snarl and take the foot and put them on right there and there's that now we also still have two other hands uh, and what you can do with these hands is um, a couple of different things. We're gonna start out like this and put them like that. And if you look on the back of the feet, there's a hole and there's a tab or a, the peg right there. So you just put that right in there like, like so. There we go. And it just kind of gives it a little bit extra support, I guess. And we can do the same on this side like that. And there's how those go on. And connection, just like the Combiner Wars. Super easy. Pull out Grimmy. And you got your Combiner port there, Combiner port there. Just slide that on. Slide it on. Slide it on. There, slid on. This one too, slide it on. If it wants to without falling back upon itself. I'm just gonna put it like that for now so I can slide it in. It slides in super easy. And yep, Snarl and his tail. Snarl and his tail, they don't, it just, like I did in the review, his his tail has, has issues. His tail has issues. So, all right, well this can go up like that and, and then there, there. Now, he just got way taller, so let me move the camera. There we are. Well, let's get him a little bit higher. Just like that. All right, now for his arms, you have the combiner port there, and that just slides in there. Squeeze that back together. And combiner port on the other side. Slide that right in. And there we go. And there is Volcanicus in all of his Dinobot glory. And let me slide him back a little bit so we can see him. See all of him. That's really far back. I can't even reach him. Um, so yeah, he's, uh, he's really cool. I like him. You know, he's... He's a combiner, and he's a combiner wars combiner. So let's just go over him a little bit. Oh, before we do, we had those two extra bits down at his feet. Let me just get those out of there real quick. And hopefully he doesn't just come crashing down. And there we go. So as you can see the back of him, I am not a fan of this. In all honesty, I wish they would have taken this guy and made, well, it's a her, made her a little bit bigger so that she could have been an arm instead. 
And then my personal thoughts is, you know, these combiners look really awesome when they have wings. So if they were to have some way to take Swoop and uh, get him so that he went on the back like this, and maybe bring the wings up like so, something. Because if we flip that around, and now this isn't going to stay because I don't really have any way to do it, but see, if he had wings, like a Preda King would, I think that would be really awesome. But unfortunately, he does not. He is what he is. And he does not. Let's try. I got to get this guy back to the way he needs to be so that we can put him back in his arm spot. There we go. So, there. Now, as I was saying, with these extra bits right here, uh, there is a spot that you can tab them in on each side of Grimlock's chest so that if you really wanted to, you could take it right there and plug this in there. Work with me here. And we can take this one. Let's move his thumbs in. And put this one on this side. And just slide that in there. Slide that in. Slide that. Hey. Come on. All right, that's as good as it's getting. Slide, slide that in there like that. It kind of. Yeah, he fell over on me. Kind of fills out this chest area, so it's not as not as hollow looking. So, yeah, I mean, he's got spikes. It looks kind of cool. I mean, it's all it's all right. It's all right. Um, the other thing we can do is we can open up Grimlock's mouth. We can put the combiner. Um, oh, what do they call it again? The Enigma of Combination can go right in there. And you can see that. And if you want, you can take these guys and you can plug them into the hands or the feet. I'm just going to stick them down in the foot right here. It's a lot easier when the foot is not attached. So, as you can see, just goes right into the foot spot down here. I'm not even going to bother. We all know. We all know about it now. Um, articulation wise, you know, typical combiner. It's got full 360 degrees all the way around because the combiner port. Arms go up, the arms go back, they have rotation. Same with the legs, they go up, they go back, they got knee joints. I honestly think that um, he's got waist articulation, but on mine it's a little loose, as you can tell. Because I moved them a little bit and it kind of got everything out of whack. So, anywho, let's just get them standing back up. Get them standing back up there because, you know what? I don't think I'm ever going to like actually have him in this configuration too often. Because um, the Dinobots by themselves are actually really cool. And they don't need to do this in my opinion. Granted, it's cool. Yes, looks awesome. Yes, it's really big. Yes, but did they need it? Mm, my opinion is no. So, all right, let's get some comparisons on size for you on him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move him over and pull somebody else out here. All right, so first off, let's just get this out of the way. There he is next to Devastator. As you can see, Devastator is by far much taller because he is a Titan class. And speaking of Titan class, let's move him to the back. We also have another Titan that we can use, which I haven't done a video on this guy yet. There he is with Fortress Maximus. Um, 
and even there you can see the size differences um, well wait no this guy's not Titan class I'm sorry he's not Titan class this guy is definitely Titan class um, I will do a video on him not too impressed um, I did have the original I honestly think the original of this guy was way better because um, him when he transforms he's basically just laying down so I don't like anything that lays down on the job which is him so all right let's get let's get him out of there get him out of there all right next up let's move this down because we will need to let's put him with a leader class figure so there he is with leader prime yeah it's taller than leader prime of course um and really i think let's just put him with a voyager just because i have him handy um big booted star scream bam there you go all right so enough of that enough of that there we go there is volcanicus and that's my my personal feelings on him um putting him together obviously is one thing um he's just really really flat on the back i mean even devastator has more on his back than this guy does but he's still cool still too still cool don't get me wrong on that um i would still suggest going out and getting him let's get this guy out of here but yeah i would still recommend going out and getting him because he is still really cool um and even for the simple fact of having all the dino bots um even that having that available to you is pretty cool too especially for all you g1 fans um definitely worth having so if you get the opportunity definitely go out and find all the dinos and that way you can put your own volcanicus together and uh yeah other than that i appreciate the watch i'm, I'm actually i'm putzing around back here because i'm going to put i'm going to put him right there right on the shoulder so i can get all the dino bus together so there you are. Uh, I do want to thank uh, one of my fans who I actually met this last weekend. Uh, Seth, if you're watching, thanks for being cool, buddy. And I'll see you again. So thanks for watching, everyone. And until next time.